Good is good, yeah. it's your boy Tom back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be talking about how I personally despite the all gambling despite the lack of content despite everything how I'm having fun in season five about as fun as I've had throughout the seasons in 2k this far and it's a different way I've had to approach the game. And, and this slight change has just made my appreciation go up way, way, way more for just playing the game for fun. Now, what is it? It's, it's my old approach. It's my 2K19 approach, which basically in 2K19, that was the first year I ever played 2K. Uh, really heavy, heavy, like, like my team i was i was all on board and i basically played the game for fun stacking up mt it's basically what i did now obviously the auction house was a part of that i sniped a little bit for mt as well but my goal was seeing how much mt i could basically make or could get to right and uh and i think that's really been my change of focus instead of you know keeping up with the content drops like i was doing throughout season three throughout season four basically buying every content drop now i'm basically ignoring the gambling and seeing okay by next friday how much MT can I get up to? Not that I'm going to use it on packs because I don't. I don't spend it on packs. Not that I don't do uh, anything with it. But it's just like seeing how much I can come up with. Now, people ask me, Ty, how did I get Hakeem Olajuwon? Simply put, whenever this deluxe uh, thing becomes available, I've done it. After Hakeem, I really don't have any more Maestro players uh, to add. So I really don't do it. But this resets every 24 hours. And again, if you have a unoctionable uh, Maestro player, it is something I, I, I wouldn't necessarily hate on if you guys did that. But for me, it's just playing the game for what it is. And that's that's really all there is to it. Play the game for fun. Grind the rush agendas if they're easy. So for me, I got I got Austin Reeves because he's fantastic. Got Worthy, got Wiggins. All of those cards are currently in my squad right now. So I've grinded for all those cards, all three of them that got them in my squad. Harden, grinded for him, got him in my squad. Houston, Chandler, grinded for him. Jokic, got off Ascension. So it's like... I've been grinding this season, and I get it. There's really no middle ground, uh, middle ground at all. You basically have to grind 24-7 or spend money on the game. Like, that's really what this season has become. And it's not just spend money on the game, it's gamble on the game. But for me, I've found just kind of fun in not only grinding for specific players, but grinding my MT as well. So, for example, as I've played Triple Threat online, I've made a ton of MT. As I've grinded Triple Threat offline, I've made a ton of MT selling all these cards that I do get. And then even in Unlimited, guess what, guys? When I got this Season 4 sewer box, I didn't really pull anything crazy, but I sold everything I got out of it. Then I'm going to go get this All-Star Pink Diamond Player Option Pack, sell those guys uh, from it. And so a lot of people ask me, Ty, how do you have 2.2 million MT? Well, number one, I don't spend it. There's nothing that I've needed to really spend it on. And number two, I've been grinding the game quite a bit. And, and you'd be surprised by just grinding the game, opening prize bowls when you got them, stuff like that how much MT you truly can rack up. Because even for me, right? Now, I mean, I really don't have much to do, much to grind, but I've got all these prize balls to crack open. And between all these, you're probably looking at at least 5,000 extra MT, which might not seem like it's that big of a deal right now, but it is something extra I can do. What is my goal right now? Well, my goal is this. Hopefully come season six, my team goes away from this all gambling content. Hopefully they go back to, I mean, if you have enough MT, you can get the players you want, stuff like that. And, and, and again, when it's like that, I don't have I don't have an issue with me opening a box and then buying the rest of the players I want to for this specific set for an exact player. Like, that's what I want. But it's just the fact that, like, you have to gamble even for the Galaxy Opals, and I, I just don't like it. So my goal is really to build up enough MT during this season that I don't have to spend money for the rest of the, really the year. And I'll even, like, I, I could go show you. I've not spent money since the All-Star drop, which was basically, what, five weeks ago now? I've not spent money since then. I've saved it. My team is still great. Honestly, better than it was when I spent money. Uh, and, and it really comes at my account just building, right? It's really all there is to it. My account has built its way up with MT. Again, haven't done anything really special outside of just grind the game. And, and it's put me in a great position. I've grinded the game way more this season than in seasons past. And honestly, I think I've had more fun playing the game this season than in seasons past. Now, do I ignore the Friday content? Basically, like I just started this week doing this deluxe exchange pack. I grind for a free pink diamond and then basically exchange it. 
If I get an opal cool, if I don't, oh well, it's 20,000 MT every day, which is so easy to get by grinding the game. And that's basically all I do. As far as the pack market, completely ignore it. As far as, you know, the gambling on packs, basically completely ignore it. When rush drops come, I grind that out. And that's why my account is in the position it is in. And that's why I'm currently having fun with playing the game. Now, do I still want content to go back to the way it was? Absolutely. Like, I, I don't think this is excusable. Just because I'm having fun playing the game right now doesn't mean it excuses 2k's all gambling stuff like i can have fun with the good rewards 2k has done a great thing these my team rewards are very solid the rush cards are very solid and even the content on friday look if if the opals were if, if this was a lock-in for a guaranteed galaxy opal it's a lot better and, and when i'm saying guaranteed it's not a random galaxy opal it's an option pack Things would be a lot better, but everything right now this season has been behind gambling, and I'm just not a fan of it. Because like, even if I could pick one Galaxy Opal from the Wild Wild West set, I'd pick Kobe. Okay, I'd pick a Galaxy Opal from the Leap Year set. I'd probably pick I don't know Rudy, maybe Lonzo, maybe Gerald Wallace. Who knows? Iconic set. If I could pick a Galaxy Opal, probably Penny. But if you could do that, I think I'd mean I'd interact with the content for a, a lot more. But there's no need to interact with the content. If you interact with the rush set, grind the game modes, like get Allen Houston, go get, you know, uh, whoever else you want, Kevin Love if you want him, go get um, MPJ, go get Mono Ginobili, go get all these solid rewards. I feel like that's where I personally have had more fun playing the game and using the new cards than ever before because even like Allen Houston, I think this card is absolutely fantastic. And if you are trying to build your squad, Allen Houston, Wiggins, James Worthy, Austin Reeves, those are the types of guys that you can pick up while saving your MT for future seasons. So do I ignore Friday content? Basically, like even though I got Hakeem, I'm not gonna do a gameplay of him because he's a gambling card. And I, it, to me, it just rubs me the wrong way that it's like that. And so I'm not doing a gameplay of him. But for, for the way I approach things, the way I look at it is, Act like Friday content doesn't exist. If you want to interact with the deluxe pack, it, it is what it is. It's a free card. And if you already, uh, it, it's basically free because if you already have the, the pink diamond you grinded for, because there is a deluxe pack in the agendas every week, you can basically re-roll for 20,000 MT. I don't hate that at all. You're it, like, I, I, it's fine. It is what it is. If you don't want to interact with that, that's okay as well. But that's the way I've personally had fun playing the game. And it might sound foolish that I'm having fun playing the game by grinding for the My Team Rewards, grinding the Rush set, but it gives me at least some reason to load up the mode. It does. Wiggins, one of the top shooting guards in the game. Allen Houston, one of the top shooting guards in the game. This gives me a reason to load up the game. If this was combined with decent Friday content that wasn't hidden behind gambling, I think we'd have a great My Team mode. I really do. I firmly believe that because I have had more fun playing the game this season than ever before. You can see my MT. You could probably, if I if I looked at the hours and spent on this account, you could probably see it's pretty solid, pretty decent. I didn't even grind the domination. If I was to go finish this domination, I'd have even more MT. What I'd focus on for you guys is grind the game and have fun with the game. All of my spotlights, done. Most of the skills challenges, guys, done. That's where I would look at for you guys. Obviously, 2K has shown this season they're not willing to change. They're not. They have not changed for three or four weeks. Why would they change now? We can't. All we can do about that is not spend money on Fridays, which I, I'm committed to. I've not spent money in 35 days on the game that is my job. And so for me, it's where I'm at right now. But I mean, it's not like I lack MT. It's not like I lack VC. It's just the fact that I have no incentive to do that. I'm having fun playing the game. My squad is at the top tier still. Like this squad can go out there and compete with everybody. Even if I didn't have Braun, Giannis, and Hakeem, I still could go out there and compete with anybody. And so that's where I'd look at for you. Play the game mode you have fun, fun with. Grind the rush agendas. Grind these mighty mode rewards in the mode you enjoy doing. And you are going to have fun playing the game. You are. See how much empty you can stack before the start of season six. That's my goal for you guys to have fun playing the game. See how much MT you guys can stack before the start of season six. Because I just have a weird feeling at the start of season six, things are going to change in the My Team community. And, uh, and 2K is going to start giving us, guarantee, not guaranteed, but player market type of cards that we can go buy with our MT. I want to know your guys' thoughts on this because I want to know is this is this sustainable right obviously right now i'm having fun i've been having fun for the last few weeks just stacking mt seeing how much mt i truly can gain without spending money on the game grinding you know the the, the mighty motor rewards but is it sustainable is it something that's not gonna last super long you guys can let me know for me 
the most fun part about this game in my team is using new cards. And so like, even for me, Kobe, I'm having way more fun using Allen Houston than Kobe. I'm having way more fun using Austin Reeves and like Devin Booker, even like Tyson Chandler compared to Jokic. I'm running Jokic, why? He's more fun to use, he's a new card. And so the rush agendas gives you that opportunity. Wiggins, Reeves, Worthy, even Danny Granger if you went and got him. The domination for Shangun, Braun. 2K has given us some opportunities for free cards. The problem is there's no in-between stage of the all gambling, all free. Yes, that's an issue, but approach it with through my lens, guys. Grind for the free cards if you want. Grind the game mode you enjoy. Don't spend your VC or money or MT on the game and see where you're at at the start of season six. I think it's gonna set up for fun for the rest of this entire year. Let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments, guys. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.